Welcome to Primetime. For this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to download and install the PrimeNet employee app to your smartphone device. So I've already gone to the Play Store, and this is a uh, Android Play Store. If you have an iPhone, you would go to the App Store and follow the same steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is search for it. PrimeNet employee and I can see right here with the little bubbles PrimeNet employee app. There are other PrimeNet apps in here. This is an older app. This is the newest, the latest, the greatest. This was the app that you would be downloading. So you're going to click on this and we come to install. You just select install. And it's pending, it's downloading, and it's installing. And we get the open here. So that tells us the app is downloaded. We just select open. Read the privacy policy. There are no details that shared with any third parties with this app. This app is simply used to record time and attendance. Uh, depending on the company, you may need to enable it to uh, view media, storage, location, services. Uh, these are simply for use with the app. Uh, the app does not go in and look at your personal information. If it's required that the app take a picture of the employee when they clock in or out, obviously it needs access to the media storage uh, to be able to get the picture that's taken at the time they clock in or out. If geolocation or geofencing is required, then it will be required to have the location services allowed for this app. We'll select I agree at the bottom. And these are the permissions, access the device's location, allow. And I don't have a camera hooked up with this, so it's not asking me that. The server URL, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. That's the one where the top of the slash goes to your right shoulder. Then the word prime net, the number nine, period or dot, and then prime net time, all one word, two T's, dot com. This is the typical URL to go to, depending on your setup. Uh, you may have a different URL, but this is for 90% of employees here to go to this URL. Your card ID will also be given to you by the supervisor, as will the PIN. I'll just put in one of my demo. And we select login. Once you've logged in, Uh, we didn't need the D on the end of that. I apologize. That kind of came over from here. Once you log in, the system will remember your card ID and your PIN. Uh, now it's asking me to be able to take pictures and record video. I, I think this is just a Google thing. We don't record video in this app. And depending on the policy, if the company wants a picture of the person clocking in and out, it'll take the picture. Otherwise, it doesn't mess with anything. We just select allow, access photos media. This is to do with the picture. Once it takes the pictures, it needs to go in there and grab it. Uh, it just makes a temp picture on the media device and then grabs it and the picture is deleted from that media device so it doesn't interfere with your storage. 
So we select allow. On here, I've got just these options, in, out, start lunch, and end lunch. So to clock in, I select in. And that goes through and clocks me in. I can look at my timesheet. This is the current pay period. I can select the arrows to move backwards and see my times, the totals. I'm scrolling down. I can see for each day in the pay period and then my total hours down here below. Total payable is going to be any type of PTO, sick, holiday, vacation, plus the hours that you work. Non-payable would be things like an absent that was added in, leave without pay, lunch, uh, anything like that that is part of the time but not paid is going to go here. Dollars would be things like tip, bonus, commission. These are not accumulation of your rate times the number of hours worked. Only for like tips, bonuses, commission, uh, things like that that are dollar amounts added to your hours in your time card. And then below it just tells you how much of that has worked uh, on what you have here. Your PTO request. I can see here what I have pending. And I can see what's been approved. And I scroll down and up to be able to see that list. If I want to add a new request, I can click up here on the plus. Choose my date. And we'll go ahead a month. Maybe do the 21st. I'm going to uncheck all day. Um, that's normally not used. The start time, the time that you normally come into work or that you're scheduled to work for that day. Uh, that's not written in stone. You just add something there, even if you don't know what time you're going to be scheduled on that day. The number of hours you're requesting off for this day, whether it be 2, 4, 6, 8, 1.35. This is in hundredths. Uh, the bank that you want to use. And a note, if you want to leave a note as to why you need that. You know, Maybe you're going to be on... A doctor appointment or something like that. And then we're going to select generate request. This gives us a chance to review what we're putting in down here. And we can see how much I have remaining. So if it allows negative hours, this will go through. If not, then the supervisor would not approve that. But looking at this, you would know whether or not you can request if you have a negative amount and you could go back and maybe make an adjustment to the bank. Uh, in here and then generate that one. I'm just going to confirm this request here. And we can see we've got it up here in a pending status. Once the supervisor approves that, it'll show as approved. I click on bank. And this right here tells me what I've got remaining. Back to my dashboard, I can see my in, my out, select which feature it is that I'm using. Uh, I'll get a success, and then I can close the app and continue with my day. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask your supervisor, and we hope this app helps you out. Thank you.